Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. excited to see what you will do next there on earth to further your spiritual evolution. You have your individual journeys, of course, and you have your journey as a collective of Humanity. When you see things going on out there in the world, in other countries, in other places that do not seem to affect you personally, know that they are affecting the human collective consciousness and therefore they are affecting you. When you recognize that you are there to exude love, you are there to help and to heal, 
then knowledge of what's going on and where can help you point your love and your healing energy in the right direction. You know that it is necessary to meditate more on peace when a new war breaks out, for example. When you look at your own lives and what is going on within them or what isn't happening that you want to happen, this is also a way for you to go deeper with your level of awareness about what you need and what is needed from you. Other people in your life might be acting out in ways that are troubling to you. And then you know that the person or people who are acting out need more love sent their way. They are acting out because of an unprocessed emotion, because of an unreleased trauma. And when you see it that way, you know that you are being called upon to offer what is needed in that moment. Otherwise, they either wouldn't be in your life or they would be living happily ever after in your presence. We know that being the caretaker for the other people in your life and for the rest of humanity is a tall order. But we also know that those of you who are awake are always looking for opportunities to be of greater service. Now, you being of greater service does not have to mean that you are going out and starting a foundation to save the whales, for instance. It doesn't have to mean that you are going on an international speaking tour where your objective is to enlighten and uplift As you look around at what's going on in your world and in your personal life, you can find all the opportunities that you could ever want to show up, to radiate love, to send healing and peace to where it is needed. Again, it seems like a tall order, but if you were not up for it, you would not have chosen to incarnate on Earth at this time, and you would not have awakened before the majority of the population. The amount of kindness, love, and compassion you show to your fellow humans is what determines how awake you are. It is not about what you know intellectually. It is not about having inside information on what's really going on with the government and the cabal groups.
it is about showing up as the light in the face of all darkness that is there on planet Earth at this time. It is about what you feel and what you do about what you feel. So we recommend spending more time focusing on how you feel and on what is needed out there in the world around you. That is the best way for you to know yourselves as the beings of love and light you truly are. Well, the Victorian Homes. And we have enjoyed connecting with you. For watching. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. I hope your week is off to a good start. Um, November is off to a good start for you. It's a beautiful day here on Maui. Um, I spent some time with Talea this morning um, reading books and uh, playing with the, the hard toys, as she calls them, the hard plastic ones. Um, the other day we took her to a pumpkin patch, um, place. It was, it's, it's a farm. It's a farm that mostly is known for their strawberries, although they're not organic. So we don't usually go there, <laughs> but we went, went there for their little Halloween type festivities. Um, I think it was Sunday and, um, we, we made a little, my wife, we took pictures and made a little video very short um and it's on facebook if you want to go to my facebook uh facebook.com slash daniel the channel if you're not already a facebook friend of mine or following me there you can find the video you just have to scroll a little bit of us uh, at this this little farm um so that was fun i forgot to mention that yesterday when i made my video um i did mention we're going to australia soon uh I'm not exactly sure for how long, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. We're excited about it. Um, and to lay to see her cousins again, have have kids to play with like all the time. It'll be great. Uh, what else is going on over here? My announcements. Um, I have an 11-11 portal event coming up uh, where I'm going to do a combination of them the monthly manifestation event, which is usually on the full moon. The full moon's right around 11-11 this year, this this month. And, uh, and combine that with the healing. I usually do a healing event once a month. So um, you can do either one. You can have an intention for a manifestation or a healing all on 11-11. Should be a lot of people signing up for that one. I don't have a shortened URL yet. I need to create that. But if you look down below, if you happen to be watching on the YouTube, there it is in the description. Everywhere else you might be watching, look on my website under the events tab and you'll see I, I have that in there. I have the group Q&A, group live Q&A, we call it on Thursdays in there. Um, and I need to add some more things um, that I have coming up uh, in November that I haven't yet on my website. Um, Mostly a one-man operation here. <laughs> Things are a bit slower. Um, what else is happening? Uh, not much. Not much new to report here. Um, weather is beautiful. Absolutely stunning outside right now. Um, I have a view. We're on Mount Haleakala. 
but we're only 3,200 feet up and it goes over 10,000 feet high. So I see like the top, I can actually see the observatory type building from my office window. So I have a great, a great view here and we have palm trees in our backyard all lining across the, the backyard um, fences. So that's really cool. Um, and that's that. That's all there. And that's all I can think of to report right now. Uh, I will be back here tomorrow making another video. So um, please uh, join me for that and hit subscribe. If you're watching on the YouTube, it's very helpful for my channel to have more subscribers. And the more you comment and like and all that share and all that stuff, the more YouTube places my videos in a in a place where other people are likely to find them. So um, thanks if you're doing that already. Take care, everybody. Namaste. Blessings. I love you all. Take care.